Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the month of October. Now, I've been making my coffee at home in my own coffee pot, but now that we've got the mine operational, I'm going to splurge a little bit and go to our local Dunkin' Donuts and order my own drink. So let me get up here and get it ordered. Welcome to Dunkin' Donuts. What can I get started for you? Yeah, I'll take a large iced caramel macchiato and a s'mores donut. All right, I have one large iced caramel macchiato and a s'mores donut. Is that all for you? Yes, that'll do it. Sounds great. Please pull ahead to the window. Yes, and just so you know, the s'mores donut is available now. So get to your local Dunkin' and check it out. It is great. In the old mining town of Evergreen Valley resides a small town farmer that woke up one day and realized that farming wasn't his biggest dream. So that day, he decided to invest everything he had in an old rundown coal mine. Can he make enough to make his loan payments and keep his livelihood, or will he lose it all? This is The Miner. Well, one thing I decided to do, we got those straw bales from the last harvest we just had. And I'm going to put in a production. I got some guys, a local mining crew with some heavy equipment in at the farm, leveling out the ground for us to put in that new harvest production. We'll be able to make some uh, paper plates with it, some other items. But let me get back to the house and I will show you what we got going on down there. With all these straw bales we have over here in the field, I really didn't have any use for them. So I thought, hey, let's. what can we produce out of it? There's not a whole lot of productions that'll take straw. So I got the guys down here leveling out the piece of land to be able to put a new harvest production. Like I said, it'll be able to make some plates. And that's going to be the main thing we have because it takes the least amount of stuff. But here the guys are. They have most of the leveling work finished. Now they're just spreading some rock down to make it a nice base for us to put the building on. So let me have those guys finish up, and we'll get back to the house, and we'll start loading what bales we have. Hey, looks like they're all finished up. All right, well, let's get back there, and I think we'll probably run to town and grab a bale trailer to pick those bales up. First, let's put a production in here so we can actually go ahead and start using that straw for something. This here is what I had in mind, just regular harvest productions. I think they look like they made a big enough space for it, so let's go ahead and just drop that down. Good. Now it looks like we'll need some straw, so let me get in the production window. Yes, yeah, so we just need straw, sugar, and water. So we will go ahead and we will buy sugar, because I don't really want to produce it right now. We don't have any sugar fields. Probably going to take all the money we have. We could be hauling water in, but I'm not going to worry about hauling water yet. We'll just buy 10,000 liters of that also. So all we need now is our straw, and this one will be ready to go. So let's go to town and get a trailer. I think we'll end up going with this flatbed trailer here that will auto-load the bales. And of course, I don't have enough money after putting that production in and having to buy ingredients for it. So we're just going to go ahead and lease this one real quick. I mean, we don't have a whole lot of bales. I'm not sure if I'll be able to bale or any straw from those soybeans that are ready. Because we actually have a soybean field that is ready to harvest right now. But right now, we are so far behind on other things. We also need to get that new uh, big dump truck to be able to haul the coal with. Because I'm tired of using our little semi. Ooh, I bet, you know what? I'm going to have to modify this pickup to be able to put a hitch on it. So let me back this thing in the building, move that loader out of the way, and we'll put a hitch on the back of this. All right, attacher, rear hitch. Go ahead and customize that, $300. Not too big of an expense. A lot easier than bringing a pickup, or a, not a pickup, but a tractor down here. Now if I get the bed put back on, there we go. I wish you would keep the bed on, but of course they always, always take it off to make that adjustment. But we'll get this thing hooked up real quick, get back down to the farm, and start loading those straw bales to take to our new production. Here we are loading all these up, and how much you want to bet our production is not even going to hold this much straw. I got enough straw in here to last a couple years in this production. Of course, won't know for sure till we get back there. I don't know its capacity. One more bale should fill it up. There we go, 100%. Let's get back and see how many of these it'll fit. 
I might just turn in here just right. There we go. Alright, let's get them offloaded. There we go, any of them going in? Not sure. Oh, production says it's full, so it took a little of it. Any of the bales? I don't see a single bale that came off, but it says it is full here. Yes, production is full. 20,000 liters. Well, I guess the rest of these will just stay on the trailer until we need them. I think we'll hop back in and we'll grab the combine and get somebody working over in the soybean field, get it all finished up. Well, it looks like I lied to you. Looks like we can make straw out of the soybeans on this map. So that'll give us more production so we can do. Yeah, I don't know if this is going to be listed as stro soybean straw or just regular straw. No, until we bale it. If we get soybean straw out of it, I think it'll be actually paid probably good enough that we can just go ahead and sell that. But if not, we'll save it up for this production. I have never increased the capacities of these before. So I don't know if upgrading the factory would be a good move for us or not. I mean, it would make us more plates at a quicker time, but it's also going to take more sugar. And of course, water, I can start just delivering my own water instead of paying for that. But let me have him work in the field. I'll go grab the grain cart and help him out, get that field all wrapped up. Well, I was just sitting here minding my own business and my wife calls me up. She saw our bank account, how low it got. So after this, I got to go to the mine and sell some of that coal. She wants more money in the bank. She does not like being below 10000 So I said, fine, I'll unload the combine real quick, and I will head up there and see how many loads we can sell. She doesn't know that we're actually going to get a dump truck at the end of the day. So let me get up to the mine and get some money brought in. The guys tell me they've produced 47,000 liters of coal down here. We do have some stones and some dirt, but really they're not going to pay anything. No, I want to keep this mineral coal to start putting in our new power plant we just bought. So if we can go ahead and try to maybe just save, sell off one load of the coal and keep the rest for ourselves, maybe that will at least show our account above the 8,000 mark to satisfy the wife, yet still satisfying my goals we're trying to make more money off that power plant. But let me go down here, we'll load one of these out, and we'll go sell it off, get the money in the bank to satisfy her. Here I am, really looking forward to January, when we actually get the rights to this, all this coal that they've already mined. Hopefully we won't have any trouble trying to get it when it's frozen. If we do, then that's going to be a problem. You know, cause we've got to get some heavy equipment in here just to be able to collect all this. I know that there's some good prices and some pretty heavy duty loaders. As long as they can do it, we may have to get, you know, a, a bulldozer to kind of push it around a little bit to break it up. But as long as we can get it out, we'll make some money, even given 50% of it back to the original mine. Let me get up here in the train. I've already rented the train. I'm not sure when he's going to be here. Don't look like he's up there yet, but we'll get up there and get this offloaded in and see it's we can only hold about 17,000 liters per trailer load, so I'm thinking we might just go ahead and dump two and take the rest to the power plant. That should be more than enough to make some money in the bank and have some money to, to lease that new dump truck we need and still hopefully have 10,000 in the bank afterwards. Let me wait for the train and get this dropped off. Here we go with the second load. This should be enough to get our bank account high enough. Jump it in, send the train off. That should be all we ever need to really use that truck for besides the next load that we take up to our own power plant. Start this buddy up and see how much we can get out of these two dumps. 33,600 liters. There we go, $83,000. Not too bad. Of course, we had to spend 585 to lease the train, but hey, that's not a bad expense. Let me get back, we'll hop back in the truck, and we'll go down, take the rest of them to the power plant, and then try to get some equipment to make it start operating to produce that electricity. Well, we didn't quite have enough to get a full load, but 95%, that was full enough. I didn't want to sit there any longer. It's getting close to noon, anyhow. I'm getting ready for 
to go eat. I don't want to sit around down at the mine any longer. I will drop this off, and I'm just going to go ahead and pay for the, I think, believe it, mining tools I need, or maybe maintenance tools, some kind of special tools I need for this production. But instead of having it delivered, I am just going to automatically go ahead and buy it. So now that should be dumping in. We should see our total going up. Yep, good, good. So run over to the other side and get this production set up. I do like the, I believe it's production revamp, so we can actually go ahead and just buy the stuff we need. Here we go, buy. Yeah, we'll just buy a thousand. It doesn't take too many. Let's see, 20 days. Yeah, it does actually take quite a little bit, but that's all right. Turn that production on, and we will start producing electric charge. We're just going to store it for now, and then we'll sell it later. But now that's another production going. We're still producing our tableware. I probably don't have too much of that made. Well, actually, it's showing quite a bit 1,300 liters already. That's going really well. well. I probably should get back to the farm and see if he's about done with the combine and needing unloaded again. So we'll see you back at the house. Well, this was the end of our soybean harvest. Just got filled up with food and now we're just about filled up with soybeans. So I'm going to go ahead and take this up there and have our hired hand follow me up here. Drop all this in our bin, and then we'll hop in the semi. I've already got it hooked up to our flatbed. We'll head into town and pick up that new uh, dump truck that we're going to use down at the mine. So we'll see you in town. Here we are back at the shop. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to lease this thing here. It holds 72,000 liters, so that's, that's more than what we can actually produce in a day at our current rate. So we'll go ahead, lease this. It's actually not going to be too much of a lease payment. My bigger issue is, can we fit it on our flatbed? I backed up to the dock in hopes that... Whoopsie! Let me try that again. In hopes that I can get this thing on the trailer. I know the way the front axle is spread out. I think that could be a problem. I might actually want to back it onto the trailer so our front wheels will fall on last. I mean, it could sit down on the axle. It shouldn't hurt anything, as heavy as this is. Like it maybe should have lined up a little bit better with the dock. This thing is just so huge. Let's see, will it make it? Yeah, I think those wheels are close enough to together. Oh, yeah. There we go. Now, once the front wheels fall in, I probably don't really have any. Yeah, it's just going to sit like that. But that's okay. That'll work. Up off here and we will get this thing strapped in. Definitely don't want this thing to fall off. I don't think these little bungee straps are going to do much good, but hey, they look nice. So anyhow, let's hop in the truck and let's get this up, up to the mine. Now, as long as our truck has the horsepower to pull it, we do have quite a bit of weight on it. I mean, most of the weight should be kind of on the trailer. So it shouldn't hurt too much on the, the drive axle of the truck. We'll see if we can just get down the road. We almost need an escort. Of course, there's going to be a lot of traffic. Come on, come on, let me go, let me go. Ah! You weren't supposed to stop. I was trying to get behind you. I'm trying to beat the next car through. There we go. All right. Now we're going to be on the street, maybe. I think we might have to turn off traffic. See if we can make it. Oh, we made it. Good, good. All right. Let's get down to that nightmare bridge and see if we can uh, line up right with that. Probably what I should have done. I probably should have gone the long way to the mine. It's a lot farther out of the way, but you know, it's you don't have this to worry about. This bridge. This ain't a bridge. All right, let's creep across it here. There we go. There we go. Oh, oh. Wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. 